Hi, my name is Jared and I'm a technical support engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. This video covers how to model the copper layers of your PCB design after pushing to the 3D environment. You can see I've got SolidWorks PCB open right now with my PCB layout as the active document. And I've also got the layer stack manager up just to show that we've got the two copper layers within our board. Now these layers can be modeled realistically during the push process to SolidWorks. If we close out of that dialog, we can then perform our push. Once in SolidWorks, we do need to ensure that the modeled copper option is turned on. Once you've turned on the SolidWorks PCB add-in, you should be able to go to the settings menu. And here we have modeled copper collaboration. It's currently set to off, which means that instead of modeled copper, what will actually be created are decals of the various uh, top, or actually the top and bottom layers only. If the modeled copper collaboration is on, then all defined copper layers will be modeled. So after switching that on, we can say OK. And then pull our board. Once the board is fully generated, we can take a look at our feature tree and we get different part files for each of our components located on the board. However, you will also notice sub-assemblies, which are the various copper layers of your board. We can select this and open it up on its own to take a more detailed look. And there is the entire layer of copper, traces and pads, on its own. Again, you'll notice that the back of the board also has some copper, and we were given a separate subassembly. I hope this video has been helpful in outlining how to create the modeled copper within your printed circuit board design in SolidWorks PCB and SolidWorks 3D. Thank you for watching, and please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website at www dot hawkridge sis dot com for more knowledge based material.